Hey, there we go. Hi, I'm Bryce from On The Mind. I'm doing my first little solo blog here. I'm super excited. I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet. I've tried this now a few times. It keeps running pretty long, so uh, I'm just gonna speed through. If I don't get everything, I don't know, maybe I'll put it in the comments or something. So I'm just gonna be sharing a quick story with you guys, uh, a little bit about of, of background for the story. I work at a gym, which shall remain nameless, and I make 8.15 an hour, which is one quarter above the minimum wage here in Illinois, uh, which 8.25, you guys can do math, I don't know why I did the math for you. Uh, now, my job is split into basically two parts, uh, janitorial and receptionist. I clean bathrooms, I clean tanning rooms, I clean floors, mirrors, glass, and I do just a whole bunch of Sorry, we tone upstairs. A whole bunch of other miscellaneous things all around the gym, and then also for the receptionist side, I let's see, um, give tours, answer phones, scan billing information, uh, set up appointments, uh, put candy up at the front desk. Uh, oh, I sell various things. I sign people in. I greet everybody. Uh, yeah, okay, so, uh, and then another side of this, so janitors, the average janitorial job pays nine seventy two an hour, so a buck, 22 cents more than I make an hour. Not anything substantial, but, I mean, hell, I'd take it. And then the average receptionist job makes twelve forty nine an hour. And that's, what, three ninety nine. so we'll just say four bucks, so that's $32 an eight-hour shift, more than I make, and $160 a week should it be you know full time and you know I would gladly take 160 a week that sounds awesome especially being in college uh, pursuing my own American dream you know things like that I mean I have the advantage of living at home so that's great but you know I still have things I need to pay for I still have bills and things moving on uh, so uh, with our, our cleaning that we that we have to do there's uh, sort of like a monthly health department equivalent I guess I don't know so uh, they just come in check make sure we're doing all of our cleaning okay uh, it's really easy to pass um, I mean it's not hard it's just cleaning it's like mopping and stuff so uh, and dusting a lot uh, but it's it's hard to do fairly fairly well on especially since it's 24 hours so people are coming in all the time so it's just uh, you kind of have to do everything right before they come in to get say like a, a 99 or a 100, it's out of 100, is the grading scale. So uh, if we do the best in our district for the month, there are 22 uh, gyms in my district, uh, if we do the best, then we get a little bonus, all of the employees do. My last bonus was just under $40 for that month, so that's cool, you know, uh, 40 bucks a month, it's not bad, I'll take it, uh, but if we do... If we just pass, remember it's easy to pass, so not do the best, just pass. Then uh, for the quarter, three months, then there's a five thousand uh, dollar bonus, but that's shared among the district manager and our general manager. Uh, the general manager gets three thousand, the district manager gets two thousand, and that again for the quarter. But in our district, again, twenty two stores. So that means that the district manager gets forty-four thousand dollars every three months just for cleaning we did. And this is the point I'm trying to get at. He gets money for work we did, and all of the money goes through the 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 bottom portion. You know the 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 uh, minimum wage paid people. So I mean uh, we greet all the customers. We work as salesmen in a sense that we sign everybody up. Uh, we give everybody the best deals we can. We uh, keep people interested in staying with the gym, other such things. And then also, this is specifically for cleaning, which we do all the cleaning for. I haven't even met our district manager. Like, I, he hasn't been in our store since uh, I've started working there. And that means that. I don't know, it just it makes no sense. He didn't hire me, he didn't train me, why does he get money for work I did? Uh, moving on to uh, the, the real, the, uh, not necessarily the personal bit, but the, the, the real scheme of things I'm trying to make you understand. 
uh, how is the the uh, bottom you know poverty class, the working class, not risen up violently against the bourgeoisie? That just blows my mind. How how have we not like declared war on rich white people? Uh, okay, I'm not condoning that sort of thing. Don't get me wrong. Like America is great because uh, it's very stable and safe. So let's keep it that way. But what we need to do, the real way to fix this is raise the minimum wage. Uh, slowly, should be done uh, drastically. We shouldn't just go from 7.25 to 15. It should be done in steps, uh, just to give small business a chance to uh, um, catch up and to survive. Uh, but everyone thinks this is a myth. It's a lie. Don't believe it. That if we raise minimum wage, that the cost of living and cost of food and everything else is gonna skyrocket as well. Eventually, it will. Okay, Min uh, the the wages and cost of living are always going to be in a little race. Okay, but the cost of living is always gonna steadily rise. Okay, and that means that if we stay the same because of inflation the wages are always going to go down slowly and where's that money going it's going straight up to the top the one percent the rich people so uh, even if you know this stays the same uh, the rich people get richer and richer and richer it's not fair and then what happens also is that even if you work 40 hours a week and you get paid minimum wage then uh, if you don't make enough money to live which you're not, then uh, the government has to pick up the slack. They have to uh, pay you in food stamps, Medicare, Medicaid, things like that, other government programs. We don't want the government to pay its citizens. That doesn't make any sense. The government paying its citizens, you know, isn't taxing supposed to go the other way? So uh, if well, all we have to do is just make the 1% pay their fair share in, uh, in, in wages rather than make all of us pay in taxes, um, which come back to the bottom people. Um, I mean, all, all, all that's doing is just making all money go up, and that's not right. Again, cost of living will eventually go up, just have to raise minimum wage again. It's okay. Um, if you want to, try this. Apply that logic backwards. So if we drop the minimum wage, you think, oh, okay, cost of living will go down and it'll be super cheap and we'll all live happily ever after. No, not at all. The rich people will just take more cuts and the government will have to pay for more of the uh, government funding citizen uh, program things. Uh, that's just, it's not right, it's not the way to go. You need to raise the minimum wage. Uh, I think I've said everything I need to. I'm sure I've missed a few things, so I'll just put it at the bottom of the comments if I think about it. Uh, okay, thanks for listening. This was on Bryce's mind. Peace out.